Hi everybody, my name is Andy Gickling and I am a software and electronics engineer out of St. Paul, Minnesota and I'd like to take a moment to tell you how I have used the Logi family of FPGA capes by Valent FX to really enhance my robot project I've got going on here. So what this B-Bot is designed to do is drive around the pool and it carries a cooler behind it and it drives around and solicits drinks to people. So it can talk, it has a pan tilt video and audio, it can drive around with the remote here. It's got a screen obviously talking about the uh, you know advertising different <laughs> drink companies and all of the data for this thing channels through the FPGA cape and goes out the door to a Zigbee link which is going to the .NET front end here. Now the nice thing with an FPGA on a robot application is it really expands a lot of your digital electronics possibilities rather than just using a microcontroller or even a naked uh, BeagleBone Black by itself. For example, all of the signals go through the UR channel on the Zigbee and end up, rather than directly at one single endpoint, they can get multiplexed through the FPGA to target multiple endpoints. So you can have some cool uh, digital signal routing that way. Another very cool thing is Normally, the RC signal pulse train that would be associated with uh, RC remote control applications, uh, that would go directly from the spectrum receiver on the device into like a, a motor driver, for example. But instead, I've gone from the spectrum receiver to the FPGA cape, and then in the FPGA cape, the signal is multiplexed. And so for a good example is right now, the remote is controlling the camera, but I can very easily, with the click of a button, have the FPGA be the one that generates the pulse train and that allows me to programmatically control the position from my .NET front end. And so I can just grab these sliders here and uh, move it around and look around the room. So another great example is in robotics applications, it's really common to actually have to count a precision encoder to get motion control and closed loop positioning of things and stuff like that. If you're trying to count an encoder with a Arduino microcontroller, for example, you're stuck with wiring it into the, the uh, interrupt lines or polling it, for example. That's really the only good way to do it. And that's not very effective, especially when you have very high speed uh, encoder edges or maybe multiple encoder channels like many robots do. So instead, the encoders on the wheel go directly into the FPGA cape, which has no problem counting the wheels uh, very, very accurately. And you could actually do cool PID closed loop motion control inside of an FPGA by itself. Another nice thing I got going on here is there is a SPI link between the FPGA and the mini Linux computer, the BeagleBone Black that's on there. And that allows me to take register blocks of data and mirror them down on the FPGA. So from C++ land, directly mirror down to the FPGA to do some register control of other systems. So that's pretty much what it does and there's really a lot of opportunities when you integrate an FPGA cape such as the Logi family that's now going to be available on Kickstarter uh, with a embedded Linux computer such as a Raspberry Pi or a BeagleBone Black. All of the source code for this is going to be available on github.com. Check it out and I hope you guys uh, get involved with the Kickstarter. There's really a lot of cool possibilities. What do you think, Bebot? No, click here. Hi there, my name is Bebot. I love my Lord GSPG yes, account by Valent FX. It makes me feel like a real boy. Oh, there you have it. Thanks for your time.